everyone, Austin here, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. So today, I've decided that it's time to get, start getting some enchanting going on, get some better stuff going so I can handle this abandoned mine shaft. And to do that, I need XP, and what better to get XP than a mob grinder, so... So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be finding the zombie dungeon I found a while back while mining, and we're going to make it into a mop grinder. So, of course, the first step is going to be finding it, which I believe it's just, yep, it's right over here. And here we are. I just keep it blocked just because I've had trouble with creepers in the past coming in and blowing it up. Of course, I have commands so I can give myself a spawner, I think, but I don't want to have to do that. So, to start this off, if you haven't seen my tutorial on how to build this, you can check that out, or you can just watch this video, but we need to start off by making this room 9x9, nine nine, which is four blocks in each direction, and with the one in the middle, so, a typical dungeon is about, eh, seven by, what is it, five? Yeah, so, it's time to go get this started, so, let's see, we need to dig this wall out here, two blocks, so... Fun, fun, fun. That's what we're going to be doing. So, um, also, thank you guys for the all the feedback you gave me on my last video. Hey, it hit five likes at about noon. It wasn't when I woke up, sadly enough, but it was still really fast, and I'm, I'm really happy that you guys were able to do that. So, thank you. All, for all the support you guys been giving me this some of my videos already are maxing out my old let's play which is tremendous since my old let's play has been out for like a year but of course like I've said I did the tags wrong but that doesn't mean anything you guys have been giving me such great support and I'm very happy and just thankful for all you guys have been doing so with that said I don't know where I'm gonna actually make these zombies go. Ooh. Hello, buddy. What's back here? Nothing. Just some redstone. Actually, now that I think of it, this pickaxe is not gonna last, so. I'm just gonna go get myself a new pickaxe and chant it some, and I'll be right back when this room is all cleared out and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in one second. Yay. Okay, guys, I'm back, so I've dug this out. It is now a 9x9 nine nine with two blocks underneath so that you can stand under this. The You need blocks above that. You don't have to, but it's helpful just so zombies don't swim up there or spawn up there, which just slows everything down. Okay, so now the thing is which direction do I want to make this go? So looking at the mini-map, um, if I could pull this up, where would I want it? I think this direction will be good, so we'll make them go up this direction. So to do that, I will just need to place two block, two water blocks like this and like that. Water sources, I mean. So once you have done this, let me just get another bucket just in case there's lava under here. Whatever water, whatever blocks that doesn't have water, like I said in my tutorial, needs to be dug up. And yeah, I there was a little coal vein right there. Okay, so let me just cover this so we don't get water flowing down in there. Okay, so now that that's all trimmed up, now we just the we have to trim up the the blocks that have water, like the very end blocks just like so and this should make it so that everything flows perfectly to a center point which is right there doing this will show you do you have a 9 by 9 yes I do and do you have um did you make it so that all the water is perfect and I did so let me just cut off the water there we go. Okay, so now that there's no more water in the way, we can now continue on. So let me just put a torch. Okay, I don't really need that. 
So my advice is to make this three blocks. And why do I do this? I do this just because it helps, um, it makes it so that when the zombies or skeletons are swimming, they don't all get bunched up, they can get into a smaller area, which helps bunch them up into the very small area, which would be right here. Okay, so that's where they'll go. Okay, so now I'm trying to think, we are at number 10, so I think bring them up and then dropping them will be the better idea. So let's see, how to do this we will need to build a mob evader, which is simply just a source block of water, and then a sign, and a source block of water, and then a sign all the way up. And I'll bring them pretty close to the surface and then drop them down so that they land and land not too far under my base, or something like that. So. The fun part's going to be figuring out, is there lava right above me? Because if there is, this is going to be quite screwy. I've never actually had to build one. Okay, so we have the water perfect go right here. So what, what I'm going to have to do is, let's see. Normally I think I drop them off. So actually I will drop them a bit. So let, we would drop them just like that. And then they will fall right here and then they're going to a mob evader. That's perfect. Okay. And now I have to get back out of here. Oh jeez. This ought to be fun. If anyone ever asks me what do I the biggest thing I hate about Minecraft, water. Water currents are so annoying in Minecraft. It's annoying in real life, of course, but since you're supposed to you use them a lot in Minecraft, I'm just rambling on. Who really cares? So, the next step is you want to make sure that the zombies get eight blocks away from this, because that will allow more zombies to spawn from this spawner. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, this will be the eighth block. So, I normally like to go about one or two beyond that. And there is lava right above me. My goodness. Is it like right there? Oh, it's a cave. Sweet. Okay, so. Let's look. Oh boy, that's fun. Okay, so apparently... We're going to have to make a little tube. I've done this before in just a little world I was playing on a while back before I started up this series. So, eh, there's no reason to get move that lava. So, um, I guess we'll just have to continue digging upwards. So, I think the better idea, what are we going to do here? Hmm. This is harsh. Uh, how about I'll just I'll just stop recording and I will dig all this and I'll be back once I get to where I think it'll be good. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, everyone. So I've dug myself all the way up, all the way to like three or four blocks before my tree farm, and that's where we're gonna stop these mobs. So, um, I'm thinking that was about about. Third, about 40 blocks. So I'm gonna need, I'm saying, 20, two, 20 stacks, two stacks of signs. So let's get started. So let's get a bunch of sticks. Put these guys in. How much does each sign make? So there's 15. There's six. They stack in 16s, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that should be enough signs. So let's get started on making this mob evader. So, um, how's this gonna work? So the water comes like that. Yep. So a sign here and a sign here. So what this should do? Let me just get rid of this torch. It no longer shall exist in this world. Um. The water will come like this, and then there would be a water block here, and as you can see, the two are flowing into each other, and that's what we want. So let's just get rid of this. 
The best way to do this is to have a water block source nearby and you just do it swimming up so you can safely get down with air blocks. That's the whole point of this because using one, mo one water block at the top the mobs will have way too much trouble getting to the top and there will be no air blocks so they will die along the way. This gives them the easiest way to ever swim upward and you get water you get an air block every other block so it's very perfect so let's get started yeah I don't have gamma bright okay so what you do is you place your sign you place a bucket of water you swim up some you place another sign there we go then you place another bucket of water another sign another bucket of water another sign and you just keep on going like that so once this sign appears which I guess it's not going to uh, there we go okay so that's what I'll be doing I'll be cutting this out too I'm sorry I'm making this video so short guys um We'll have a lot to talk about once we get to the finishing part of this, but the other, all the other stuff of this is really boring, and I've made a tutorial on how to do all of this, so there's no real reason, so that's my point, and I will talk to you guys once this is done. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so a little change of plan. I did lower it because I just remembered that you want to be able to stand in front of this collector with the zombies spawning. Where I was going to put it, I would have been too far away from the spawner and the spawner wouldn't have been able to work. So I'm basically going to be putting where the zombies are dying right on top of the spawner itself. Actually, is that right? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, um, I need to go down 21 blocks, so... Yeah, this should be fun. Uh... Let me just do this. It's always smart to ha never dig straight down. So let's do this thing. So I'm I'm at block. They'll be falling up block 40. So they need to fall on block 19. So time to dig down to 19. Let's go. So I'm set, gonna. Oh, what's this? Uh, which one are they falling down? This one. So. You want to make sure that there's no holes so that they can stop themselves or something like that. So and this is all going to be one when I climb back up. So, which means I need to move this torch. Okay, keep digging. So, um, again, guys, thanks for all the support you gave me on my last episode. Uh, that was really awesome. At the end of this episode, I'm going to show you guys the barn and see how it ended up. Uh, I'm probably going to end up changing it a bit. I will. I am going to end up creating a whole new barn, but for now, this is supposed to work. So that should be 21 blocks. Uh, I'm going to be the stupid one, and I will test it and make sure, which means... Oh, gosh, dang it. No, I won't test it. <laughs> I won't be the stupid one. Oh boy. This ought to be fun. How am I going to do this? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So we'll just put that sign there. And I don't really feel like breaking this right at this second. But it's actually... I'll dig straight down from there because that should put me basically right on top of the spawner. So, 40 blocks minus 21. Yeah, that's 19. Okay, just want to make sure. So, um, I will now demonstrate what this is exactly going to do. That's why I put this here so I have a safe way down. Kind of ish. I feel like that's so short. Okay. Please don't land me on lava. Wait, what am I doing? Dip, dip. Okay. Oh. Uh. 
Okay. So let's dig this one up one and drop down. Make sure that that's all safe. And that's going to put me where? Is this? Yeah, it's this. Okay. So there we go. We've. It's kind of a. Sh How did. How did it end right there? Okay, so I didn't put it on top. And that doesn't ma It really doesn't matter, so. This will be the area to get to the collection, so. Which is on the opposite side of where it should actually be. But we will now c figure this out, so. That's the collection spot right there, so. Um, there's a bunch of lava, too, which is going to be fun to deal with. Oh boy. Okay, so let's dig straight up. Okay, that's safe apparently, so. That's where our mobs will be dropping and staying, so. Let's make ourselves a little room that we can go to. This is going to be a freaking pain in the butt, I'll tell you what. What the heck was that? That scared me so bad, guys. I thought it was a creeper. Jeez. Man. I was not expecting any noise like that at all. Okay, so, um, this isn't going to be anything super special or anything like that. Uh, I will, I'll pretty it up off camera, but... I'm basic. I'm just gonna give you the basic gist of it. So, is this correct? That's the first question. With mobs spawning, dropping right there, I think I will be safe. So, that's how it'll go. Just like this, I'll have a little double chest right there. That will need an extra block. Okay, so there we go. We got our. What the heck is out there? Something's out there. Um, time to figure out how far does this go. So that is the edge block. So now let's make a little tunnel. And this will be the way to get here from whatever way I get in. Which we'll need to keep up nice and lit. Because I do not want to end up walking in here and finding any creeper waiting for me. That will not be the fun day. So this should be the very edge, because I remember feeling this. Yep, here we go. And there we go, guys. So we now have our mob spawner. So what they're going to do is they're going to wash down. They're going to go through here, and they're going to swim all the way up. And then they're going to drop down, and that's basically it. So I have one bucket of water, and that's all I need. So let's get our sword out at the ready. And that, I believe, is the area where we will be finding our mobs. Yes, it is. Right up here. So we'll have to test this. So I'll leave this open like that. And we'll have to be ready to kill some zombies. Because they're definitely going to spawn before we clear all the torches but that's all good it's not skeletons at least waiting for a zon oh yeah I need to clear out the middle ones those are normally the hardest of the bunch get over here wait for them to spawn there we go and there we go so let's try to clear out the rest of these torches let one more spawn come in. Once we get that spawn. What? There's got I'm pretty sure there's a creeper just out there waiting for me. Come on, zombies. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm taunting you. I'm taunting you. You don't got nothing on me. No, you don't. Okay. So now we can test it. Let's get rid of these blocks. 
That's not, oh, okay. I was about to say, that's not gonna work. And, uh, we got up. We'll lose a few cobblestone blocks, but that's okay. And just as I figured was going to happen. I mentioned this in my video, uh, my how to make this, the tutorial video. If there's light before, um, what the? Oh, I forgot the water stream. Okay, I have to go fix that. What the heck? It's so weird. I don't get what's happening. I really don't. But uh, I forgot to put a... For some reason, water likes to collect the light, I guess, you could say. So, yeah. Let's play some torches back up. Slow down the spawning rates. Just for a second, so I can put some water there. Then take them back. And yeah, so this should be good. What? Where? Oh, okay. That's where the light's coming from. I'm just like, where is this light coming from? And we made it. And there we go. So I don't trust whatever's out there. Oh my gosh. Jeez, bat. Okay, so the zombies are now going. And they should be pushed in now. It's hard to see from here, but we'll find out once they actually land. So let's actually get a little bit of a better view here. I hear the zombies, so that means they're probably swimming up. Okay, dokey. Okay, dokey, yeah. I said it like that. And we will see if the zombies spawn right here. So we'll have to give it a little minute, and there we go. And how many punches? Seems pretty good. It's not only about one to two, it's hard to actually get the exact number just because zombies are normally tougher than, zombies have more health than skeletons or at least they're tougher oh okay so this could be a problem um, since we're so close to that but whatever it'll be fine so here's our little room and now we can have some skeleton zombies going on so wait Okay, so they can hit me. Now, what's up with this little zombie? I hear a little zombie. Do little zombies spawn now? Oh, jeez. Can you not get me? Where the... Oh, my goodness. Now, this could be a pain, so... I have to put an iron door. How it looks, um, I guess the little zombies can't get through there, so that's a good thing, but either way, guys, this, that's today's episode. We created our, finally got an XP grinder going, um, there's another, uh, spawner somewhere in another cave that actually has horse armor from when I looked at it, so I'll definitely have to go find that. And we can make another spawner out of that one. Or I, I'll just do it off camera. But hopefully I can make it look a lot better than this one did. Um, this one wasn't that good. But it'll all be fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't, forgive, don't forget to give me a nice like. Um, it's always appreciated. And it really helps out my channel. It tells me that you guys are indeed enjoying the content I'm throwing out at you daily. Um... It takes a good amount of work to make sure you guys get all this content and all your support really gets keeps me going. That's why I even do this in the first place is just to 
and make people have fun. So, I, t I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Um, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. Or just private message me, whatever you question you may have um if you have any questions about how to build this please go check out my 1.5.2 i believe it was mob grinder tutorial that's the exact one i built and it should show you everything in that one i did do the drop off first and then the mob evader but it's not that much different i showed you basically what to do if you watch that one you should understand this one so i hope you guys enjoyed and see you oh wait right before I do end that um, I need to end on the note where I do show you the finished barn so it's just turning day oh this is gonna be fun I thought it was always I thought it was day the whole time but here's the barn guys um you might have saw it in the little thumbnail uh, what I did I added a little some some ladders here and then a little room and that's just gonna be like a little storage area so that's all cool and dandy this is what I did with the horses they can't climb up there anymore which is fantastic cuz these horses were going crazy if you remember last episode this guy hopped all the way over and got trapped on the other side of the wall but yeah so th that sh that actually finishes off this video um how you guys like the barn leave it in the comments and don't forget to tell me what can I do to make these two places look even better? And what else should I add to this little farm um, district? I will be going to other areas and building different things. Like this is just for my star area, but I will be moving over to a plains biome there or there and building my mansion and all that fun stuff later on. But for now, we got to keep getting this place going on and looking all nice. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys.